In this video, we're going to talk about Moat, which allows you to leave voice notes and feedback. I am finding sometimes um, I'm having some serious fatigue um, and it's easier for students sometimes to hear our voices when we're giving feedback. So Moat is an awesome Chrome extension that was shared with me by Michelle Bulger. You're going to start in the Chrome Web Store and you're going to search for Moat. It is an extension. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add it to Chrome and add the extension. Uh, now you may not notice it uh, here. In this case, it has been added here. If it hasn't, then what I would do, see how it disappears, is I need to go into those extensions. I need to find it and pin it. And that is uh, perfect for me so that I know that when I'm logged into Google Chrome, all of my extensions that I want pinned to the top appear here. And I want Moat to be pinned to the top. So then once you get here, you need to uh, talk about whether or not you are a student or a teacher. Um, and so your students would obviously log in here. It is a yellow tool, um, meaning that they would have to sign in with their um, Gmail. So you might need permissions for that. All right, and I'm going to sign in with Google as a teacher using this account. All right, um, it does require you to ask a couple of, uh, answer a couple of questions. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly answer them. And I'm gonna go grade nine and 12 next and the name of my school. And all right, there is a uh, information sheet here. You basically are gonna open or create a Google Doc, and then it allows you to add your, uh, either a transcript or a voice note right in there. I've also noticed um, that it, it appears in slides, um, I think, as well. And so even when I'm leaving a comment on something, I can use Moat to record it. All right, I can edit it. Um, it allows me to save them. I can uh, click or read. You can, when you enable the transcript, your voice note also becomes um, a written transcript, which you could easily edit if you need to. And that, so let's see how it works. Um, so I'm gonna go into um, a doc here and this would be in google classroom when i'm giving students assignment um, so just say i was giving this particular student some feedback okay i need to allow my microphone And I'm over 18, so I can enable extension. And I'm going to enable the voice transcription. All right, there's also help and questions right there, which I think is great. All right, so just say I have some comments on to put on the student's introduction. I'm gonna go record a voice note. I really think this is a powerful introduction. Um, one of the things I'm wondering about is whether or not your first two paragraphs should be combined. I'm gonna go think, and I'm going to click on that. Again, I could um, click on it to hear it. I really think this is a powerful introduction. Um, one of the things I'm wondering about is whether or not your first two paragraphs all right so it's exactly what i want it to say i can go save as um, and create a moat book but i don't necessarily want to do that so i did copy it and then i would go insert comment and see how i could have done it through here need to allow my extension. Um, so I could have started recording right in here. Instead, I didn't. So I can just um, add my voice note. But the next time I go to insert a comment, 
I may choose to click a record for my moat book. Um, this is really great if you are, um, I know in the IB program, we're not allowed to give written feedback, so I would not enable trans, uh, the transcript, but I could add um, notes here. So this is a powerful little tool, um, will help kids connect to you because they hear your voices, but also uh, will save you time. I know for me, it's easier to talk as I read than it is to uh, write down feedback or find a, a pen to annotate something. So hope you enjoy it.